Hi friends. Today's story is about two brothers, the Wright brothers. From a very long time ago, people who wanted to fly in the sky always wondered how happy we would be if we could fly in the sky like birds. It was the Wright brothers who made it possible to realize this dream. Young children Wilbur Wright and Oliver Wright were making a sledge once with their own design. Their mother always helped them and encouraged them in these tasks. The Wright brothers marveled at their mother's remarks. Wilbur and Oliver liked to make things. They had more building tools in their home than kitchen utensils. Their father, who was the church minister, bought presents for them whenever he returned from his trips. Once he had bought a flying toy. Looking at the small toy flying, the brothers were amazed. Once there was a kite flying competition in their village. The Wright brothers made their own kites rather than buying ones. These kites were flying very high than the others. All the other children wanted to buy kites from Wright brothers now. They bought new building materials with the money they earned by selling their own kites. But Wilbur once suffered a serious injury while playing ice hockey when he was in high school. After all, he dropped out of school and received medical treatment at home. His father still encouraged him and said, Wilbur, everyone has his own talents. You and Oliver will be great inventors. After hearing his father's remarks, Wilbur pictured hope in his mind. Wilbur and Oliver helped their father publish newspapers, but they got tired of folding the newspapers. Hence, they invented a newspaper folding machine. They were very happy because it was their first invention. The Wright brothers continued to invent new things. Now, they made a printing machine and engaged in printing business. They also made a lot of money by running a newspaper company which published the newspaper named Sub News. When Oliver was 18 years old, their mother, Susan, died because of tuberculosis. Daddy, I will drop out of school, Oliver said. He could not bear the grief of his mother's death. All right, Oliver, but you must never be lazy, his father said. Oliver's father trusted him a lot. Later on, the Wright brothers got into, interested into bicycles again. They now closed down the printing business and opened a bicycle store. They not only repaired the bicycles, but also made new bicycles and sold their bicycles. Soon their bicycles became very famous and this business also grew and flourished. Once Oliver read a newspaper article that Otto Lilianter had died after flying down or to the ground from his glider flight. Lilienthal is today known as the Flying Man. He was a German pioneer of aviation. At that moment, Oliver thought of making a flying toy like his father had bought for him. He made up his mind to build an airplane with his brother Wilbur. Since they knew nothing about airplanes, they started studying everything which was available at that time. Several years passed 
and the Wright brothers made a kite, modeled after a glider and experimented with it. After they were able to pilot it using strings connected to it, they built a life-size glider and experimented it in 1900. But this research did not end. They made money by selling their bicycles and invented airplanes. They devoted all their time in research. One day, they completed their third gliding flight with an engine. They attached vertical and horizontal tails to it for the sake of stability. They experimented with it at the Kitty Hawk Beach and at last the two brothers successfully built a glider they were able to pilot now. Still the Wright brothers were not satisfied and so they attached a 12 horsepower gasoline engine and propeller to their airplane. Although many people tried to make airplanes at the time, the performance of Wright brothers' airplanes were much great than the others' airplanes. At last, they made an airplane that was able to fly through an engine instead of a glider. As this invention became known, the French and the British people wanted to buy their airplane. But the Wright brothers did not want to sell their airplanes and they kept on their research. When the news of their flight became famous, the number of people increased to look at their airplane. The airplane started to fly in the sky and everyone was in a surprise. All shouted, wow, it's flying. One minute, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, the airplane started to fly for a longer time now. At last, the United States Army decided to provide the Wright brothers with financial support for their research in 1907. Airplanes will evolve more and more in future and 20th century will be the age of airplanes, they said. They were so positive and devoted their efforts to make engines and the engine-based airplanes too. Wright brothers were great inventors who realized people's dreams to fly in the sky and made their dreams come true. I hope you all enjoyed this story and are ready to make a toy now. For this toy, we need very simple material this time. So we just need some paper, some straw and a scissor. You will also need glue or some cello tape. What you want to do is cut two strips of paper around 16 cm to 2 cm wide and 10 cm to 2 cm wide. I'll repeat 16 cm to 2 cm and 10 cm to 2 cm. Now make rolls out of these and stick to make two rings or hoops exactly like these. You can make with colored paper or with white paper also. Now just take a straw or a bamboo stick and stick your hoops like these. When you're done, your toy will look like this. And it's done. Let's fly the toy.